This tutorial is an introduction to the UI Builder Developer Menu, a new feature in UI Builder version 4.0.3 and higher. The Developer Menu will launch automatically when you start your UI Builder application. From here, you can access the major developer activities that you'll be involved in when working with UI Builder and your own interface. Let's begin with the Form Design option. Let's say you're working in your form within UI Builder. As you can see, it's displayed here in the menu space. If you were to select the design view from here, it would open up UI Builder in the design view, when in reality you want to design your form. Select the design icon, and now you're in your form where you can make any sort of design changes you might want, and simply select the form view to save and return that form into the UI Builder menu. As you can see, we're back looking at it with those changes made. The next major feature of the Developer menu is the ability to see the properties of your form displayed within UI Builder. If you click the Properties button, you'll see the properties for the form P Customer Form, as it's currently displayed within UI Builder. From here, you have visibility to the major properties that will affect how your form behaves, such as whether your form is currently set to allow edits, additions, deletes, whether it's in data entry mode, whether it's locked, whether it's enabled, as well as information such as whether there's a filter applied, whether that filter is on, the record source, and importantly the parent-child link. You would expect this always to be not set. Let's apply a filter and see how this changes. I'll use the UI Builder Universal Search to look for AAA. Select the Properties menu, and now you can see that the filter criteria is filled out as the form is filtered. The Universal Search uses quite an extensive set of criteria depending on how you have your search set up in the form. You can see that the filter is now on as well. Change to an alternate form and click Properties. We can see that it's now detected it's in a different form and has a set of different properties. You can use this to troubleshoot if you think there's odd behavior with your form displayed in UI Builder. Next, perhaps in design mode you may have seen that the UI Builder menu disappeared or you'd like to reload it completely. Simply click the refresh button and UI Builder automatically reloads. You also have quick access to open up the UI Builder administration menu and from here you can enable or disable this developer's menu simply by unchecking that box. If desired, you can also click the red X to disable the developer menu. Lastly, you need to decide who can see this developer menu. By default, you will be able to see it, and you can choose a set of other users that you might want to have this menu open for when they open UI Builder. Simply enter their Windows usernames, and when UI Builder opens next, this developer menu will display for them as well. If you lose the UI Builder developer menu and need to get it back, simply open the navigation pane. Scroll to USYS developer menu. If you have your system objects hidden, this will be a hidden form. You can also re-enable it from the administration form. Thanks for watching.